What Islam says about Prophet Moses. The true religion of God is conveyed to mankind through 124,000 messengers, started with Adam and completed by the final Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, is one of them. When Pharaoh came to power, he became arrogant and called himself a god on the earth. He had no children and his wife was Asiya. One night, Pharaoh dreamt that the houses of the Egyptians were burning while other houses remained intact. He gathered all the soothsayers and magicians. They said a child would be born carrying a divine message and would also invite people to worship God and take back Pharaoh's rule from him. Upon hearing this, Pharaoh ordered that every new boy should be killed at his birth. At that time, Imran, Moses' father, was living in Egypt as a shepherd. He was a monotheist and his wife was pregnant. In the end, God inspired Moses' mother that put your son in a box and then throw him in the river and I raised you for myself. Do not be afraid that we will bring him back to you and make him one of the prophets. After some years, Moses left Egypt and went to the desert called Thor. There was a green tree there and suddenly a voice came out of the tree to Moses. O oh Moses, I am your Lord. Take your foot out of your shoe because you are in the Thor and I have chosen you. Worship me and perform the prayer. God gave Prophet Moses some miracles so that he could prove his prophecy to the people. Eventually he fought against Pharaoh and after a while he miraculously passed his companions and converts through the sea at night and took them out of Egypt. The stories of Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, have been mentioned more than any other prophet in the Quran. Furthermore, the name of him, along with his stories, is mentioned 135 times in more than 30 chapters. Why is Prophet Moses mentioned so often in the Qur'an? The Holy Qur'an is a source of guidance for all humanity on how to live a perfect and divinely guided life. One of the ways to deliver this guidance to us is through giving examples of real people who lived in the past and detailing their life stories from which we can take heed and plan for the future. The stories of Prophet Moses and the children of Israel have a very rich experiences that can benefit people on various levels. The similarities between Prophet Moses and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them both, is another important reason that necessitates such focus on the stories of Moses in the Quran. For instance, the nation of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny, has not been united on the divine leadership after his departure, just like the nation of Prophet Moses, who has divided into various sects after their Prophet's death. The Holy Prophet, addressing to Imam Ali, has said, O oh Ali, you are in the same position with respect to me as Aaron was to Moses, except that there is no Prophet after me.